the news of the day as we're recording this on late Thursday afternoon, Jeff Carter diagnosed with COVID. This is the third season dealing with COVID-19 and it's still hanging around and it's still a fact of life for these players, even the ones that are vaccinated. We'll follow the NHL protocols. We'll monitor, you know, the contact tracing and all of those things that are associated with the protocols. We're going to trust that our medical team is going to do the right thing for all of us. We're testing everybody, that's staff, that's players. They're all safety protocols to get, you know, through the season and to keep everybody safe. How sustainable is this approach, the way the Penguins are playing right now? without Crosby and Malkin, can they continue to play this way with the roster that they have and be successful with it? Being now with Jeff Carter out because of COVID, Evan Rodriguez is your top line center. Teddy, hi, ready? The Penguins have gotten off to a good start. Hopefully they can get everybody healthy at some point. It's exciting to watch our young players in these types of games. I think it gives us all kind of a better understanding of where they're at. of 7-1. to one. Unbelievable team effort. Rodriguez throws it in front. Pedersen towards the net, shoots and stops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just want to single out some guys, but it's hard to do it on a night like tonight when it's just a complete effort from everybody. And Drew O'Connor has his second of the night. It's so rewarding for us to watch you guys play that way. We played hard, we played smart, we were disciplined, and we can compete with anybody. It doesn't matter who's in our lineup. There was an expectation to win every night, regardless of who's in your lineup. We've grown so much as a team through the injury adversity. People step up. Roar from the crowd here at PPT Paint Serena. What a shift from the Penguins. You know, we have good players up and down the lineup. You might be playing with different guys, but you know how they play, and, and you just got to build chemistry right away. So this is kind of what we've done all year. Another guy step up, and I think that's just what we're kind of doing right now is some guys go down, grab guys step up, and uh, just an overall good effort. Hopefully we can build on this. Even though they didn't have Carl and Cross and Paul and Rust, and the tank, they still find a way. Nice, boys. The unofficial mantra of the Pittsburgh Penguins has been just play. And that's exactly what they were doing. Ah, Teddy. All right, Rudy. Caps out. Without a handful of their best players, the Penguins continue to just play. Nope. Nobody else, huh? Just you? Nobody behind you, huh? Shocker. Fifth game of an eight-game homestand here tonight for the Penguins. As we mentioned, the Penguins will again be without Sidney Crosby tonight, yet to play this season. The Penguins have a good one here. We'll set it, I'll give it to you. Dan Heinen's going to go back up to the top line with Evan Rodriguez and Jake Gensel. Over here! Yeah! I really like it. Boy, do they do a good job of zipping it around and getting a couple of quality scoring chances. We go like spin off and then pop the circle. Guys to be wide open. A good start. Oh, down the center by Gaudreau. And he comes down the left wing. Johnny Gaudreau left circle, shoots, he scores! It's 1-0, Calgary. Get it back, get it back. I hope they don't change things, number one. I think they're dialed in. I think supporting the puck in all three zones, that's where they've generated a lot of their offense. Hey, hey! Right in front, hands here, Gensel. And he's denied by Markstrom. Good response there. We've seen this from the Penguins before. Whoever Mike Sullivan throws out on the ice, he's throwing them out there with a purpose. Rodriguez can skate. Rodriguez can skate in open ice, and he's elusive. If he plays the way he's capable, he's in our top nine. And he'll be the first guy to get moved up if one of the guys gets hurt in the top six. But he's got a lot of reasons to be motivated. Rod, tease it up. Captain, back over, Gensel is robbed by Markstrom. Gensel, I can't find your f***ing wheelhouse. Three good shifts in a row. Keep going. Adding Kapanen to that mix changes the dynamic significantly. Go, Cappy. Get in there. Rip it, rip it, baby. 
Penguins are starting to stack some shifts here. Out of way, out of way. Ready to shoot it. He's going to score goal sports. Here we go, Black. Come on here. Turn it up. Nice run. Nice pin from Rodriguez. Stuff it in. Stop by Markstrom. Man, this thing all going to net. Final game of a five-game road trip for the Flames. They are potentially going to finish 5-0. You gotta go! The Penguins put 45 pieces of vulcanized rubber at Jacob Markstrom. I think to a man, they can all look at each other and say, opportunities are there. Go, go! Gets him to Heine. Save made by Markstrom. Dude, you are some And that will do it. You wonder now, with who the Penguins have had out of their lineup, if maybe you get a jolt in a guy or two coming back into Saturday night against No, I'm getting that feeling. While the Penguins were holding their own on the ice, the captain was making progress off of it. After months of rehab, Sidney Crosby was getting close to making his season debut. Just been a progression the last six weeks. You know, started off skating with no pucks, one hand on the stick, and then progressed to stick hand a little bit, shooting eventually. Obviously, being able to join the team means I can do a little bit more battling and things like that. So, you know, I think at this point it's just more seeing how that progression goes, and that'll determine eventually when I play. Mike, can you give us an update on the status of Sidney Crosby? How quickly will he be able to jump back in? He will be uh, a game time decision tomorrow, but certainly we were really encouraged with his practice today. He practiced once again in full capacity. Some of the drills that we, that we did out there were game real. He's going to meet with our medical team this afternoon, our team doctors, and see how he responds overnight. But we were really encouraged with his progress. Well, we have marveled for weeks at Sidney Crosby skating, his conditioning and practice, and now he's got the green light and he makes a season debut here tonight. You know, they held the fort for a while, guys, but you can only do that in a short period of time. Over the long run, that's going to catch up, and it has for the Pens. Let's go. For the Penguins, you guessed it, Sidney Crosby. Welcome back. In the middle as he returns to the Penguins lineup for the first time this season tonight. The puck is dropped opening faceoff, and we are underway. Thanks for being with us. I think we're too content to just throw it on the wall. We've got to hold on to it a little bit too, you know? Yeah, we, as soon as we throw it on the wall, it's on. Like, oh. Back to the point, Ricola. Dances into that circle on the backhand, centers in front. Aston Reese a chance, stopped by Bergay. Rebound, they score! It's Dan yeah. Heinen finding the back of the net. That's his move. For the first five games, the Penguins, they had not trailed after two periods of play. Now this is three straight. They trailed going into the third, although tonight a different story already so far than the last two as they've already tied this game up at two of these things to the second of the year from Brock McGinn. Brad towards the net, knocked into Jari as the puck comes into the near corner. We got a whistle stopping play and a penalty shot. Jesper Bratt's going to get a penalty shot with three minutes to go. Yeah, Sidney Crosby, he chopped Bratt down. He almost felt like he had to take it. The Sid got on the wrong side of Bratt. Penalty shot with three minutes to go in a 2-2 game. Jesper Bratt, one-on-one, -on -one, delays and scores! The Penguins didn't get the result they wanted in Crosby's return. And unfortunately, the next positive results they received were not good ones either. We are on to November for the Penguins, alongside Penn's head coach Mike Sullivan. Let's talk about your team first, coach. Obviously, the big storyline has been the COVID cases that have come up here in the last couple of days. Over the weekend, it was Chad Ruedel and Marcus Pedersen. Today, we learned Sidney Crosby and Brian Dumoulin. So it's D to D to the pocket and now play accordingly. Everybody touch it, get a shot on goal, all right? And this is wild. Hey, hey! If you put yourself in Mike Sullivan's shoes oh. right now, what's he supposed to do? <laughs> he's, he's got a different lineup every night. Oh, you had him. Yeah, Mike, I think it was fairly late in the preseason. You said you are going to take another look, the whole team, about this whole COVID stuff. What's it like for you with cases keep cropping up? Well, it's tough. You know, I'm not going to lie. We are trying to do all the right things. We do have a discussion, if not daily, you know, a few times a week. 
I know our players and our staff, we're all trying to do the right things as far as mitigating the risk, and yet we're still getting it. Nice. What's already challenged our depth, the positive sign is when a couple of guys are out, it means other guys are in. It's going to give guys an opportunity to step up and make a positive impact on the team. I wonder about the Penguins' mindset right now. Are they going to be fired up? I have no idea what to expect tonight. Who knows what could happen between now and then. Hey, how's everyone doing? Obviously here doing this interview with you guys um, because uh, Mike Sullivan has entered COVID protocol. Wish nothing but the best for him for a speedy recovery here as we go through the process that's been going through our team here a little bit. Yes, we will have Crystal Tang back. That's obviously a huge boost for our team. And as we work through it here, the focus is going to be on us continuing to find some of the hockey that we were playing in the beginning of the year. Hopefully tonight gives an opportunity for some different guys to be a part of our solution here, given the fact that we'll be messing with players and our head coach. Yeah, it's on the night. Let's play some hockey. Ready, 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 ready. Should be a good one here tonight. Back in action after the loss on Saturday. Drive it, drive it, drive it. Oh, 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 oh. 16 seconds in. There we go. That's a sign, baby. That's a sign, baby. Woo! We got one, Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. The talk, the talk. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay loose, right? Like on the face off right away. Chances for the Penguins. Yeah, everything but the cookie. Keep the mo going. The momentum. Gets all going. Fins on the bus. Gets it back. Shoots it. Scores! Yeah. Second time the charm for Jake yeah. Boy. That's the way the game of hockey works sometimes. You have wide open nets you can't cash in on. When you score a goal, you score a goal. Nice. I love that. We're doing everything we can to control what we can control. That's trying to be the best hockey player, the best hockey coach, the best team that we can be day in and day out with whatever challenges come our way. Come on, Tanger. Chris the Tang looks like he hasn't missed a beat. You know, he's like a Ferrari, you know? The Ferrari sits in the garage for a while. It's a little slow once you get it, but you get it out on the highway and you're like, you hear that engine purr and you just pedal to the metal. Love it for me to go in the third. Third over. Yeah, pass it from Locke, he shoots and scores! Oh, yeah. With 2.52 to go in the third, the game is tied at two. We won't take that. That's a shame. Boy, Mike Matheson has had a really strong game. It's a simple play, a play you make 10,000 times in your career. Come on, yeah. Here you go, Black. Both teams secure a point, and we'll see who gets the second. Something's got to give here, Borky. Just pans up. Tag with Carter, beats him over the line. Drops it to the tag, left circle towards the net, a shot blocked wide. Picked up by Latang, stuffed attempt at the far post, hard stop. It's him. a goal! It's a goal! It's in! Boy, that's an awkward save. I want to take a look. Oh, it's in. It isn't. It isn't. Get the crowd going. Get the crowd going. If you're in your car, oh, turn yeah. up the volume, oh, baby. Yeah. After the review, determined that the puck completely crossed the goal line. So Chris Letang in his return to the lineup ends this one as the Penguins take it in overtime. And it's a two-point party on Fifth Avenue. Huge win for us right there for a number of reasons. One, we're ahead in the game. And with three minutes to go, we gave up a goal. Okay, we haven't won for a few nights. A lot of teams were headed south at that point and cost themselves the game. That's a huge character win for us, and uh, we don't have some players, we don't have some coaches, but we're not stopping. The next band up mentality hasn't just been for the players. Todd Reardon was ready to step up as well. Yeah, it was a crazy day for certain with everything we've been going through the last few days with our team. You know, for us, uh, staff was in, included in all that testing, and then for us to, to find out that uh, Sully initially had a positive made for an interesting day. 
our guys have really responded um, better than expected. Um, I think sometimes when you take a step back and you look at it, it, uh, it, it seems like a lot, and, and, and it is, uh, not just because of doing our job and being able to perform, but also the importance of the health of the individuals and their families and whatnot has is, is taken on a real life element. That's been the part that's probably the scariest for the players to deal with and staff to deal with. And playing hockey has been something that they know is, is going to be involve some moving parts and um, different roles and responsibilities for people. And I think thus far they've done a really good job of succeeding in those situations. All right, before we get to uh, a game to start with today, um, again, awesome job. Now we review the film. Uh, Outstanding job in terms of our work ethic, our compete, our battle was where it needed to be yesterday. Give ourselves a chance. Way better fucking winning than losing. Not even fucking close. Um, but uh, good effort from everybody. Now you make your choice tomorrow. Todd Reardon back in the win column as the head coach. Gutty win given how many players were out of the lineup. Double swing. Take your time. Dealing with injuries Plus, and ailments over the past there year and a half. That's part of the challenge of winning in this league. How'd you feel about that play? So annoying. That's the way it goes, my friend. That's the way it goes. I'd rather a physical, like, I feel like I can get over a physical mistake more than a mental one, though. Yeah. And I know that I make that play 10 times a game. That's what I would say to you. It's difficult for the individuals. It's difficult for teams that are as hard hit by the virus as the Penguins have been. But, you know, that's life in the NHL. You have to overcome the challenges that the game and life present you with. Play it! Play it! Play it! Play it! Get a stretch! Get a stretch! Penguins back on the ice after a 3-2 OT dub over the Philadelphia Flyers Thursday. That snapped the three-game losing streak. you got a ways to go here as far as the Penguins roster is concerned with guys coming back into the lineup, but some progress on that front in the last two games. You have star players and like guys that are often in the spotlight, but a hockey team has more than that, and certain guys are really good at different things. It's off the post. It's in. He scores. Cap. You know, there's bounces, there's penalties, you obviously you got the goalie, so there's so many factors that can determine the outcome of a game. Some nights you feel like we should have won that game and you lose, and other nights you're like, we got lucky there. Ryan Hartman to take it against Luger, it's loose in the dot, dug out by the Wild. Back to the point, it comes Goligoski, 12 seconds on, to go boy. for Hartman. Right circle, shoots it, it's blocked off, bounces behind oh, the net, yeah. but he pinned against oh, the goal by Latang. Dug out by the wild left circle, yeah. Dumbo shoots block, comes far side, they score. Yeah. At the right yeah. wing circle, Ryan Hartman yeah. with 1.1 seconds left on the clock has tied this game at four. Sometimes there's nights that we don't have our legs or we don't play the right way, but at a certain point in the game or a moment, guys will actually pull off details that people don't really notice and we'll get the win anyway. Rodriguez with a chance, walks in, he scores! Yes! Erod buries it! You go in every night certainly feeling like you have a shot. Conversely, you go in every night thinking that this team across from us can beat us at any point, so we need to be going. So it's a competitive league. The salary cap has really leveled the playing field in terms of competitive balance, and it's certainly good for the sport. Tristan Jari keeps yeah! it out, and the Penguins yes! take the shootout. It's tough to evaluate the team right now, just given who's been in and out of the lineup. But what have you liked about the team over this 10-game span, and what do you think are areas for improvement going forward? We have a standard that we expect when you pull that jersey over your head of how you're going to show up to work every day as a Pittsburgh Penguin. Scores! Empty net goal. You want some regulars back? You got them here tonight. 
Sidney Crosby, Brian Dumoulin, Marcus Pedersen, Chad Ruedel, all back in uniform. Mike Sullivan back behind the bench for the 5-4-4 four four Penguins. That is going to do it. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, Pittsburgh. The final score, 6-1. to one. You know, these last couple games, I almost felt like weren't really fitting with each other, the chemistry. I think they got to dust themselves off. They kind of come into this game expecting to win, not hoping to win. Pivotal game for both teams. Neither wanted to fall far behind in their respective divisions. Off we go on a Tuesday night. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No negative to do here. Just positive. He's directly to Colin Miller. At the heavy drive, he scores. There's that shot. So lucky. He had no idea. Jurgensen gets an opening, gets it right in front, redirection of Pozo, he scores! Oh. It's about time for the Penguins to wake up. Let's go here, Mikey, hey? Kind of nuts and off. Jeff Carter digging in, Penguins win another one, Evan Rodriguez beat over, Russ has a one-timer block okay. by Pozo. 14 seconds to go, third period, Gensel's behind the net, checked by Pesic. Sidney Crosby gets it to Russ, he shoots off the outside oh, of the cage! Hustling over Rodriguez to the middle, shoved out by Oposo, and that is going to do it. Dustin Tokarski will finish with 45 saves, and the Penguins lose a heartbreaker. Listen, I'm not pushing the panic button here, but there's some urgency in my voice because it's hard to win in this league. It's hard to bring it every single night, but that's why you play the game, because you love even when you're a little bit tired, you're a little bit sore, you reach down and you find something inside yourself. Listen, it's there. You can't dwell on any one game, whether it's good or it's bad. You just have to learn through the experience and then put it behind you and get your eyes set on the next task at hand. We gotta keep building on this traction that we're gaining. We should get some team confidence here. We're getting people back in the fold. We're only going to get better. Great job. Yeah, you really can do whatever you want. Right? When you have a, when you're a vet, put a hat in a warm up. I love it. I love it. What's that? I know, right? Love the hat. Love it. Ew. You're light today. Oh. Oh. Good guy. Good guy.